Hi, welcome back to Nether Winter with Necrolord. Today we are standing in the uh, professions place. Can't remember what it's called. The workshop. Thank you. Today we're standing in the workshop. We're not actually going to be going over professions today with the new mod 19 update. I wanted to go over mount insignias. We've all done our best trying to get up there to get that legendary insignia. And it used to be that you either had to get it, and then they did the update to where you had to have two purple, four blue, and eight green of the exact same insignia to make it a legendary. Well, they've made it even easier now. Go into the inventory here. And what it is, is you can go into the insignias you don't need or want. Instead of selling them, you can now convert them to insignia power, powder. The green insignias give you two powder. So we're just going to eliminate all these right here real quick. The blue insignias, I don't need these, give you 10 each. So, there's another 30, 40, 50. Purple insignias, if you don't need them, go ahead and crunch them. Give you 50. And legendaries don't need it anymore you can sell it or you can crunch it I'm gonna crunch it and I know this is gonna make a couple of you cringe for the sake of the video you get 250 powder out of it and you actually have to hold down the convert button once it's done it's gone 250 insignia power that's how you gain insignia power now you're probably wondering how much does it cost to upgrade well I'm gonna go over that this is a green insignia of prosperity I actually need a couple of them so we're gonna refine it it takes 10,000 refinement points and 20 insignia powder upgrade success aha Now, to go from blue to purple, it's going to cost you 100 powder. And 50,000 uh, refinement points. Not a problem, as you can see, I have plenty. So let's go ahead and do this upgrade. So that puts it at 120 powder and 60,000 refinement points so the next step to go from purple to legendary is you're going to need 500 powder which brings us to 620 insignia powder and 100,000 refinement points so that's 160,000 refinement points. Not really bad at all. Let's go ahead and do that upgrade. They can't convert it any further. A lot easier. All you need to do is find one of any level of the one you want. And you can refine it all the way to legendary. Break down the ones you don't use. You don't need them anymore. See, I have just enough up to finish this one up. So you're going to be wanting grabbing like skill notes. Um, Soulmonger's lock boxes give you a box that gives you two or three anywhere from green to legendary ones. 
So that's a good one to kind of rake up on. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the Soulmonger's lockbox. Let's see here. Where were the lockboxes at? Consumables? Yeah. Soulmonger's lockbox. Okay, it is the... Carapace Mount Pack is the one that will give you insignias. Like I said, they will give you anywhere from green to legendary. I've gotten legendary out of it. In fact, the legendary I crunched came out of it. Didn't need it. So, and it'll give you the Lost Artifact Pack. It has a chance of giving you the Lost Artifact Pack for the refinement. I find all these very useful. So... I've bought quite a fit bit of the Soulmonger's lockbox and I've been opening them and they've been helping me out with my refinement, my insignias, um, the adventures packs can actually give you uh, health stones and, and now it's going to be helping me with my insignias. So, Oh and the profession stuff helps if you're trying to upgrade that work, that workhouse. So. It's a really, really good lockbox. I like it a lot. So, so there you go. That is the basics of upgrading your insignias. They're not really difficult anymore. You just got to grind for insignias, get the insignia powder, find the one you want. 160,000 refinement points, 620 insignia powder. Boom, you have a legendary if you find it in green. Each level you find it higher up, it'll be cheaper for you. If you have any questions, leave me a comment, hit that like and subscribe button. And I think uh, one of my guildmates, Emowyn, he's going to be doing one of these as well. He might have a few better ideas on it. I'm going to leave a link to his channel in the description so you can hop over and take a look at him. So please, let me know what you think. If you have questions, like I said, leave a comment. Like, subscribe. I really want to get out there and help you with this new Netherwinter stuff coming out. Okay. Bye.